So today I'm going to show you guys how to cook potato leaf. I've got uh, six types of potato leaf in UK and where I got it, they sell it like three uh, Thai for five pound. But as you all know, this is from Africa and it's got loads of dirt and all that. So you probably have to clean it well. Make sure it's properly clean and then wash it well. And then we cut it. I'm going to show you guys how I cut my potato leaf just so you guys get the idea and I'm not going to show you guys how to cut all of it because of time and the length of the video but I'm definitely show you, I'm going to show you guys how to cut it how I do cut my potato leaf everybody got a different way of cutting it though but this is my way of cutting it so I'm going to show you guys now and So leaf. So I'm gonna cut it inside this bowl. First of all, you have to cut some of this stem. Some people don't cut too much of it, but I'm gonna cut as much as I like or I want it. So that's it. So you all can see, cut the way I want it. I'm gonna slice it. You can do it anyhow, you can cut it anyhow. You don't need to definitely cut it this way if you can. Because we are working with knife, you don't want to cut yourself or whatever accidents can happen. So you do it to the way you are comfortable with and the way you know how to. So this is the finished product of the cut potato leaf. I finished cutting them. So now we're gonna cook it. There is the fried uh, the tilapia fish and the hot chicken. I fry one tilapia fish and hot chicken. And then I'm still gonna use this mangi to cook. And then here I've got the onion. I slice I think three onion and this boiled pepper is gonna I'm just gonna drop it in the bush. Sorry guys, you need to wash that. So it's three ball pepper that I'm gonna put in there. I'm gonna boil it, put, uh, just put it in there, like because I've, I've got some that I've played already. I'll show you guys in the field. And I'm gonna use this beans. This is the beans that we normally use for any food: cassava leaf, potato leaf, okra, anything. You wanna put beans? It's called butter beans. So that's the beans we're gonna use on this. Potato. If I'm using two can of it, two can of butter beans. This is the season I use to fry the fish. And I'll show you guys this is the season I normally cook. That's my favorite uh, season. It's called Jumbo Aroma All Purpose. So you can use it for anything you want to you wanna do. It's for all purpose. So we're using this pot today. That's my favorite pot. Even though my husband don't like that pot. But yeah, that's my favorite pot. I love cooking that pot because it's big and free and everything. Palm oil that we're cooking today. I got this from my cousin. She lives in Sheffield. And she's got a nice African palm oil. As you can see, it's not even like um how they say like um hold up i don't know how they oh gosh i forgot how to call it it's not hold up it's free as you can see it's shaking in it in there it's not like sleeping okay yeah sleeping it's not a sleepy palm oil it's a very good palm oil straight from africa she's selling it so if you want this palm oil just let me know and i'll link you up so you can get yours 
It's a very beautiful palm oil, you love it. And here we've got a dry fish that I'm cooking. I forgot the name of this fish, but anyone that knows this fish is the is it um uh I don't know how to call this fish though, but it's dry one from, from Africa. I got it from one uh, African store for um twelve pounds for three. I'm just using one though. Then here I've got the chili that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use three ball chili, one onion that I'm gonna blend, and then the ogre. This is the ogre. I'm blending all of them together so that I'll show you what I'm gonna do with them in a minute. But for now, those are the ingredients I need for this particular food that I'm cooking called fried potato leaf. So now we're gonna start cooking. So I put the fire on, as you all can see. What I'm gonna do is put the dry fish in there. I'm gonna put the dry fish in there. And then we're using the dry fish water. We're gonna shiver it though because some, sometimes there's sand underneath, so you don't wanna put the sand, so make sure you shiver it. Yeah, as you all can see there's sand there. So you don't want to put that sand in there and then second we're putting the palm oil in there this is palm oil as i told you guys from strictly from africa you can see the banga inside that's the banga that's like strictly from africa as you all know you know so let me know if you want this palm oil so let me add a bit this is a beautiful palm oil, so as you all know, beautiful, beautiful things are good to eat more. But because the banga is in there, we're just going to remove it. No hard feelings. My hands are clean. I'm in the kitchen, cleaning, washing. At the same time, when I'm cooking, so taking off the banga from inside. And then, mm, the palm oil is very nice. Guys, forgive my sound. And then we're gonna put the beans. We're gonna put the butter beans in there. You drain in the water, rinse it, and then put it inside. Beans is inside. We're gonna put the mangi because we, are, we want all of them to cook. So we're gonna put the mangi. If you can hear my son's voice, don't mind us. He's always cooking with me because we eat together. So he's a helper, you know. He's a good son. It's helping mama. I'm gonna put four of it because the potato leaf is plenty as you all can see so i'm putting four of this small mangi because i don't have the um chicken aroma that i normally put the mangi cube the nigeria one i, I call it because that's that they eat it um, more so now we're gonna cover the pot and leave it to boil for like some times let's say five to ten minutes and then we'll come back and for the next stage okay so we've come back now after five minutes or ten minutes i don't I even remember that's the look of it so we're going to put the potato leaf that's the next stage I 
I wash my hands through every process. And I'm not showing myself. That's why you guys are not seeing the other process of me washing my hands. But you can do it any way you want to do it anyway. You cook it for yourself. So we're putting the chili that I uh, the chili that I blend with the onion and the ojibwe. We're putting it inside. Because you don't want too much water, that's why I don't want to add water in here. So I'm trying my best to be able to get all the chili out. Ogiri and the if you like you can blend the ogiri you can just put it on top of it it depends the way you want to do it you can just put it there because if you don't have blender you don't need to blend the ogiri you can just like literally drop the ogiri on top of it, it will still anyway any way of it it will still work so we're going to cover it no before we cover it because i just want to do this normally i can wait for this to steam maybe before i put it but I'm just going to put it in there so it will steam together just because I don't want to waste too much time we are hungry and we need to eat so I'll just put it on top of it and then we'll cover it we'll wait for 5 minutes and then we'll open it and we'll show you guys so after 10 minutes we are back this is why they call fried potato leaf it's actually fried on the pot Ooh. we have to use power to get that out this cloth so we're gonna stir it well. So we're gonna add the chicken and the fish that we fried before. In there, the chicken is the one I put in the oven now. I'm always putting my chicken in the oven. Sometimes I do fry them, but it's not as normal as the one I put in the oven. I'm always putting it in the oven. So we're gonna mix it. So now we're just going to leave it for the sauce to enter the fish, for the sauce to enter the fish and the chicken and we're almost done. So that's it. See you soon. So this is the end look of our potato leaf. That's the end look of our potato leaf now. I'm going to mix it. Mm -hmm. And hear that sound. That's what we call fry for the tuna. Mm -hmm. We are all done. All done. So we're just gonna put it on our rice now, and then we eat our rice. That's for my cousin though. My videographer. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me if it's in the one you want fish or chicken. Fish please. So she's always saying she don't like too much sauce. Obviously she's gonna come, I know. But that's how she is. So let's do that. Let's leave that for that. And then I'll put one chicken here because I'm gonna eat with my son. He loves chicken. So let me find one chicken that is kind of Okay, so that's it. I love sauce. I love eating sauce, as you all know. So that's it for today. Try potato leaf, and we are done. <laughs>